Start, 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 start. Start huh. good baby. <laughs> welcome, welcome all to... Dylan was stupid and he waited for the music to be perfect. No. Before hitting start. I just wanted a good part of the music. This is a great part. Whatever. Oh no, Dylan, we gotta look at the credits. Oh yeah, that's right. Cool. Oh. I know, the music stops when you do that. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you know. Is that a bug? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so... Vicare... Oh, what a joke. Vicare... 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 How do you pronounce that? I don't, I don't know, man. Vicary? Vicari? Vic... Vic... Vicari? Like Vicari. Damn it. It was written by this lady. Or maybe it's a man. Or maybe it's a... Uh, uh, a trans. FC directs all volumes, but produces none. Lalo Hunt wrote Tagora. Oh boy, more, more authors. When will Hussey return? Who knows? He won't. He'll never return. I just get to cry about it. This, a is, lot. this is just to bait us into buying. <laughs> Character artists. Oh, a new artist for volume Edgar, four. Do you write any more? New artist for volume four. Your interviews say, make it sound like you're doing something. Gina Chacon. Oh yeah, I've seen some of the sprites for this. It looks fantastic. Alright. Uh -huh. Thank you, James, for the Tagora. Yeah. This is interesting. We get like... Hmm. Looks like James has been doing like half of the themes for the recent volumes. He hasn't done them. I believe he just had them and then he he, re, he, he gave them a reminder that, you know, Diemen's theme was reused and junk. Uh, well, yeah, Diemen was reused. He's uh he's down here. I know he is, but but James but, has been pulling shit out of his shit. Oh. I suppose. Yeah. But these have right. appropriate names. Let's rename them. Damn it. That's cheating. Remember, he, he wanted to call Amicia's, I believe, colon O, was it? I can't remember. But that's what I, it's it's funny because I use that emoji, I mean emoticon all the time, colon O. And he wanted to name it that, but Andrew Hussey was like, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> and then he named it Art Shop. It's a good decision. I completely side with James. Good decision, Hussey. No. It was an excellent decision. Colon O is the best. It's a retarded name. For retards. You're retarded. You're retarded. Go hit, go hit load. Quality assurance. I mean, who's close. this? QA. There's a QA person. Whatever. Go fucking whatever. Close menu. All right. It's time. time Start. Time to newt. We're gonna go revisit Bronya and Skyla just to listen to the voice. What? Yeah. Oh, go. that's right. Yeah. Before we start. On volume four, we gotta we gotta listen to to uh how they pronounce it in the what's v what's his button. name what's what's voice it's just voice whatever it's voice, voice self voicing yeah self voicing so voice self voicing hurry up hurry up just click it self voicing to blow out my eardrums oh Jesus Here, click click rapid click rapid click rapid all right you know you're faster than that okay here we go. All right, prepare. Go. My ears are dead. Go now. Self voicing enabled. Skyla, hold on. Oh. Lay die. <laughs> Lay die. Self voicing disabled. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. So they do say Skyla. Yep. All right, let's go to to Ronya. Nope. Load, load. Yeah, it probably would have been faster. All right. Alright, here we go. Self voicing enabled. Brnya. Oh. Well, Brnia. if you're sure. <laughs> Self voicing disabled. Alright, now we're gonna do Tagora. Alright. See the first one? What if he's the second one? No, he's the first one. Oh, yeah, it's on the left. I thought it was gonna be the other one that was the first one, but yeah. That's weird. These newts are more zoomed out. 
a little it's bit. It's a different artist. Whatever, click it. Here we go. Fresh. <clears throat> Fresh from your most recent bout of gratuitous bodily injury and touching scenes of camaraderie, you soldier on. You've had a few setbacks, made a couple silly choices. Boy, do things just keep happening. But let nobody say that you, the main character, are incapable of growth and change. You have made sure not to be caught in the wilderness near dawn again. You have made your way back to civilization. You can't wait to discover what- You mentioned being caught in the wilderness during dawn. Uh. You nut- So he's back at civilization, does that mean the sun is less deadly? Maybe. You snoop. You Maybe it's less deadly in the civilized areas. You're so dumb. Why did you Go. interrupt me? I was- I- cause I had- I wanted to talk about it. <laughs> Jeez, Dylan, isn't that <laughs> the point? You're baby. Go! You can't wait to discover what new adventures await you. Oh. Adventures like... Ahem. <clears throat> Pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> Go. Alrighty. Look at Ooh, look these. at our babies. No, wait, I have to watch the little flashy flashes. Ooh. Look at these absolute newts. Right here. Here he is doing I like it to him. Glasses. Let me look at the glasses clap. Yeah, the baby. Look, he folds his arms behind his back just like Joseph. Yeah. And here, he folds them in front of his back. He doesn't fold them, he just holds them. <laughs> He's gonna do it to you, camera. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm really excited to do Tekora. I'm not even joking, I've been so excited ever since I saw the newly, the newly image screen caps. Okay, here we go. Prepare your ears. so great. Prepare thy ears. This sexy demon. Time to get bad legal mm. advice. Pornography time. No. Go. You wander down a street in a not too demolished looking part of town, but you don't really take much of it in. You're not looking where you're going. This is an elementary mistake, especially on a planet where everything that exists seems to be on a spectrum of engineered specifically for murder to could be a weapon in a pinch. But you've got a lot on your mind. And now, as the car, these guys have these guys probably have some ridiculous word for it, but you haven't learned it. You hadn't noticed slams into you, sending you flipping head over feet. You had a few new concerns to your list. Your bones and organs. Oh god, there's a yeah, car. Car, yeah, I I noticed that immediately because I was always worried about my characters with the idea of cars. We've heard the term scuttle buggy, and we heard like Carcat mentioned like a, a joke about rainbow drinkers and his lust is all like everybody get in the scuttle buggy whatever. What who? Right, it's I time. Was always wondering like. It's time out. to experience the sound of the driver yelling. Watch where you're going, lump squirt chugger. Lump squirt <laughs> chugger. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. Delicious. Is that tit milk tit acid drinker? It's something, something vulgar. Lump squirt, Some, and then drinking. Yeah. Fades. Ass poop. Fades as they drive away, as you and you assess your situation. You stretch each limb in turn, which, you've got to say, doesn't feel great. You've landed in a bush, which is covered in sharp spines. Oh boy. Your arms and legs all still work, though, and when you do an experimental cough, no blood comes out. Pretty lucky, you think. You may, have, you may have redefined what luck means by this point in your journey, but you'll take what you can get. You don't figure that luck will extend to the driver turning around to help you out of this bush. Your gaze is meeting and sparking an immediate and intense concoction that leads to a beautiful lifelong friendship that you let yourself hope. After a few minutes of struggle, the answer to your comradely dream daydreams comes into focus above you. A figure outlined by the spiny leaves of your plant prison and the glow of the moons. The troll you see isn't the driver of the car, but you don't care. Your heart is beating wildly with your continued lucky streak. Oh yes, it's time. Oh, look at he overed his hand. It's time. Oh, uh, uh, oh, should, what does it say up there again? It, uh, it says, um... 
I know what this says. Good aim it. I'll just go look. Come on, sick. Yeah, it's um. You sent it like... to me. Oh god, you sent me some. Okay, here we go. What does it say, Cameron? Payment to owed yeah. for legal services offered. Colon zero euro sign. Yep. Or it's a C with two lines through it. So it's it's like a euro. I love this song. Let's listen to it. It's time. It sounds devious. Get that harpish chord in the back. All right. Hello. <laughs> oh god. Cameron. Don't newt so hard, come on. Oh. Hello. 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 Don't spend 10 minutes doing this, just read. Hello. 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 I need Cameron. to be masculine enough, though. But I'm a girl, and it's my heart. Oh god. Cameron. Hello. <laughs> Cameron. What? Hurry up. <laughs> No! Every second you spend on this turns into another gag. I hate doing this. I hate doing this, but I hate doing this. Come on. You don't have to gag! You don't have to <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> the life of the editor. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe if we are good enough, we can hire our own editor. Just Let's read the news. Hello, hello. <laughs> Cameron. Cut some of this out, whatever. This is a sick ass harpish <laughs> cord. It is. Just just like cut it out and say I didn't feel like editing. <laughs> oh my god, it's classic. It's like, you know, in classical music they do the thing where they just alternate. I yeah, they they I alternate. Heard this song, actually. What a dumb you spoil you. <laughs> they they they're, he's, they're doing a thing where they where they alternate to a to a to one note. Like, to, to emulate the sound of, of one note being held, but it's not actually being held. They're, they're doing the thing. I forgot what it's called. It was in Castlevania. It was in uh, a lot of black stuff. Whatever. Mm. Anyway, you're in, Newt. Hello. You seem to have fallen victim to a collide and scamper with that scuttle buggy back there. Oh, ah, yeah. Buggy. It's, there a it fucking, is. it's a hit and run with the car. Let's hear, let's hear him self-voicing. Take it away. Self-voicing enabled. Zero. Tagora. Hello. You seem to have fallen victim to a collide and scamper with that scuttle buggy back there. Uh, uh. Self-voicing disabled. Tagora. <laughs> I read the zero. I'm yeah. amused. Yeah. Alright, Tagora. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Contacted, wait, have you contacted your personal legislature? Oh my god. If not, I'd like to offer my services. You butchered that word. Legislate, oh, legislacerator. <sighs> I thought it just said legislator. Oh, wait, I guess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little did you know, my dear author. <laughs> my Go. name is Tagora Gorget. Wait, how do they say the last name? Do the self-voicing again. Oh my god. Self-voicing enabled. 60. Introductory fee. Plus 10. <laughs> Tagora. My name is Tagora Gorhek. But please, <laughs> call me Gorgor. Self-voicing disabled. Oh my god. It reads all the things you rack yeah. up to. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> what? No. It's stupid. That's amazing, I love it. It means every time we go to a new line, it's so gonna- like, it's at gonna... the end of it, we can listen to all of the time. No. Yes. It's too loud. My name is Tagora Gorhek. Oh my god, just say Gorjek like a normal person. But please call me Gorgor. I'm here for you. For a nominal fee, of course. Is this like a signature line? I bet it is. I assume so. How are you doing it's that with your mouth? It's interesting because it doesn't seem like he has much of a twerk. This he also pulled his hands behind his back like Joseph, and Joseph also doesn't have a quirk. You're a nut. And also speaks grammatically properly. We're gonna sign with our mouths, Cameron. Oh, there we go again. He pulls a business card from his sleek teal vest and offers it to you with a precise flick of the wrist. His claw beds are perfect. Claw beds? He's talking about his nail, nail, nail oh. cuticles. Oh, okay. You, tr you try again to sit up. Buoyed by this offer for assistance. If some type of doctor, maybe? Or lawyer? It doesn't matter, really. Because he said he was here for you, 
Those words go right ahead and burn themselves onto the softest chamber of your heart. <laughs> you start telling him your plight thus far, reaching up through the brambles toward his beacon of hope. This guy seems trustworthy, and that's not, mm -hmm. not just your lack of opinions talking. You swear. <laughs> As you shift, the moonlight shines on you. He steps back briefly, dropping the card. The one eye that's not covered by a swoop of product-infused hair opens wide. You realize we're an alien? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, big mistake, buddy. You can't defend this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he recovers, smoothing his hands down his chest and straightening up, clearing his throat as you continue to explain. You're... what? Oh, yes. An alien. I knew that. I've done work with aliens before, so your situation shouldn't be an issue at all. Oh, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> How are you peeing us when we have no money? You know this. No. Don't worry. It'll it'll get like sub peanut through the state, and it'll get paid anyway. <laughs> Everyone deserves an equal opportunity to be represented by me. Oh, I'm sure. Mm. Is it just every time he says? <laughs> every time he says a line. <laughs> In fact, we may be able to use this in our favor. For a larger cash settlement. Mm. It all depends on our angle. Mm. <laughs> Here, try moving your chug column. Again with the signature line. Yeah. You're unsure why this is necessary, but you wiggle your torso hoping that's right. <laughs> You've never wanted anything more in your meager existence than to follow the specific directive perfectly. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> You had a little hip jiggle. <laughs> Not so much that you might think it's a come on, but enough to say, Hey, I'm friendly, and I know what the fuck I am doing. <laughs> no, you're... The thing that holds up your think pan. Work with me. I had a feeling it was the yeah. name. Confusion. Yeah. <laughs> oh. God damn it. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. You continue what you hope is part of a troll friendship ritual, shimmying various parts of your anatomy deeper into the bush that you get the neck and he clasps his hands together. There we go. That one hurt, didn't it? Definitely a case of column snap, which can get us a decently hefty restitution. Oh, you sleazy ass. Your neck feels fine, or it doesn't hurt any more than the rest of you, but you give him what you hope is a convincingly painful nod of agreement. Oh yeah, here we go, insurance fraud, baby! We're gonna... <laughs> 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 oh, Tagora, I love it. I love this man so far. You nut read. Of course, you will need to front the initial legislation costs. Jeez, I always want to say legislator, but it's like, Stoop. nope. Stoop. We may also have to injure you further to ensure our case is convincing. Of course. If you've got to break a few cluck beasts, embryos to make a grub grublet. Break a few eggs to make an omelet. Yep. Break a few eggs. Okay. As you well know. I like Smurfs. They just replace things with grub. <laughs> oh. Okay. Initial cost. <laughs> Initial cost my ass. <laughs> All the costs are initial costs. Yes, I think we may make mutually beneficial to you. If you're willing to do what it takes to bring about the justice you deserve. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. If I met you, I would say no. You nothing. So what do you say? How would you like to help me help you? <laughs> He's talking really fast, and you're not sure exactly what to think about your lack of funds or the idea of breaking any more bones, but that smile is sharp and shiny and pointed right at you. You want more of it. Okay, so we've been this guy with this guy for like a minute or two. We owe him 900 troll dollars. This guy is good. <laughs> Doesn't it help? We only owe them according to him, though. There's nothing that says we owe him. It's kind of like, Jinx, you owe me a soda. Nothing that says my ass. Are you yes, kidding I me? See there's a thing up there that says that. But like, <laughs> it's not like he has an actual paper. That's what you think. Like, honestly, if he comes over and starts harassing people, like, you owe me this much money, and they just walk away, what's gonna happen? Uh, I don't know. Blood authority? 
Okay. Use, use blood authority over us. I will make you give me the money and be your defendant. Mm -hmm. But we want more. Oh boy. boy. It's time. Okay. Oh, that's not it. You idiot. You fool. Next page, please. Okay. Okay. Alright, I know which one's the losing. <laughs> we can ask him if he does pro bono work. <laughs> or, do or tell him about the heaps of money you it's definitely pro have. Pro bono means. It means we do he does we do he does, ask if he does it for free. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you thank him profusely for his offer to help and explain that while your situation hasn't exactly left to be very rich, you'll pay him back in glorious friendship, the most infinite of resources. You lay it on thick. Seems like a guy who can appreciate a good deal when he sees one, and you can't imagine a better deal than this. You reach both arms up, waiting for him to scoop you up out of this pain plant like a gentle baby you are. Sorry. Wait. Sorry. I don't do charity. <laughs> Such a shame, too. I was hoping to work with an alien- Wait. I was hoping working with an alien might make for a more interesting day than usual. Then <laughs> you're not worth it? <laughs> he turns on his heel and walks away, his high ponytail swishing behind him. <laughs> Friendship is not a currency. Look at his stupid arms. <laughs> <laughs> we blew it. Alright, back to the next one. We couldn't pay him in friendship. What a scrub. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. The heaps of money we definitely have. You mentioned how incredibly loaded you are, <laughs> and how core to your sense of values it is to pay well for good work. <laughs> That's what we call good business. Of course. Now, get up out of that prickle frond and let's get you presentable. Prickle frond. He watches you flail a few times before he sighs, unbuttons his sleeves, and rolls them up to his elbows. Each fold is crisp and even. It takes a while, but you are good at being patient. <laughs> there is a 12% cost increase for instances of manual labor. It'll all be explained by- explained in your bill. Oh my god, a 12% cost increase. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> I'm sure an alien of means such as yourself will be able to handle it. Mm hmm. You take his hand and he pulls you up and out of the bush. It's kind of a rough job. He's not as strong as he looks, you guess. He glares at you like he is daring you to say shit about it, and you are a quick learner. He cuts you off mid thank you. My office isn't far from here. We can get there to get things started. And by things, I absolutely mean get you clean and sign a lot of vaguely worded, yet stringently binding do documents. Oh boy. He walks with a purpose. You shake off the floor stuck in your various body parts and do your best to catch up. Excellent. From the outside, his office basically just seems like his hive. You've learned a thing or two during this shitstorm. I love. What? I love Tagora so much. <laughs> You're such a newt. You've learned a thing or two during this shitstorm of a cultural exchange, though. You gotta play it cool when a potential friend invites you home. Cool. You never know also, what- it's, it's such a different style from the old one. The old mm. one had, like, loose lines and, like- Yep. Yep. This is so crisp. Crisp. Like- And it looks like it doesn't have any shading. It looks like it's all solid and then the shading itself is, like, a little bit not solid at best. Baby, baby. Interesting. Maximum crisp. Maximum I love clean. him though. Look at him. He's so sexy. Pristine. Alright, here we go. Also, he has a lot of hair and it's ridiculous looking. Oh my god. Cameron, you're nut. <laughs> you never know what cages or monsters or methods of evisceration they might have laying around, and you want to prepare a nice, chill look on your face for whatever carnage you're about to be confronted by. That's gonna be perfect. Oh god. 
Oh, he's a rich. It doesn't work. Your face falls to bewildered hell when you walk inside because it's all chrome and glass and broad white walls in there. Yeah, goddamn, what the shit. It's like he bought the fanciest looking crate and barrel display room you could find. This has a fucking ferret. <laughs> down to the last useless minimalist accessory and then never sat down on it. He's <laughs> left this. A ferret. Just chilling on an enormous silver thing that's halfway between a throne and a play tower. Everything is clean and bright and at perfect right angles. Oh. 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 <laughs> and you don't see any weapons anywhere. Yeah. It's fucking creepy. <laughs> you ask him if he just moved in, because polite conversation seems like maybe the best thing you can do. In the absence of something specific to focus your fear on, you're just sort of a little afraid of everything. You're not paying me to learn- wait, you're not paying me to learn my life story. Unless you'd like to. In that case, no. I've lived here most of my life. I'll go ahead and add that to your bill. <laughs> life story and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you stare at one of the chairs. Should you sit in it? By all means, do not make yourself at home. <laughs> Head straight to my ablution trap where, while I prepare our contract. We're gonna take a bath. You really want to connect with this guy, and you like how you just vibed there, where you were thinking about sitting your bedraggled ass in his fancy chair, and he would totally tell you where you were thinking it. But you don't want to be friends badly enough to walk straight into something that has the word trap right there in its name, and then at least pondering it for a second. You become savvier during all this. Alright. <laughs> Okay. Let's no see. entrapment. No entrapment, please. You tell him you would rather stay away from any and all traps, if that's alright. You mention that you think that's the better move for both of you. Something tells you that this guy wants to know what's in it for him. Probably all the times he's said explicitly that. You do have that vibe going after all. He taps a claw on his chin and looks you up and down. He takes his time. You try not to blush, no matter how exacting his gaze is. I had a feeling he'd actually agree with this one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a new expression. New. Your whole look is more than a bit repellent, but it may make the pitiable. Is I pronounce it? Yes, pitiable? it's pitiable. Pitiable, lost, alien angle, more emotionally effective. If you look, if you still look like you just got run over. That's good. Brown. It takes you a second to realize he didn't just say his physical emotive response. <clears throat> Instead of doing it with his face, he's giving you a direction. You stick your lower lip out and try to look as pathetic as possible. Yes, this is really working for me. Mm. It's awful. Completely repug repugnant. Rep repugnant. <laughs> repugnant sleeping. <laughs> Your general squalor should function as a simple manipulation tactic, no matter which direction I decide to spin it. The praise makes it hard to keep frowning, but you do your best to keep it up. You even hunch over a bit and shamble a few meager steps toward him. Right, <laughs> yes. It's like an artist. We're paying, we're paying you to be better. That's enough. I don't need to come any closer. Seriously, you smell terrible. <laughs> okay, then we'll skip the hygiene and get straight to the best part. Bureaucracy. Oh boy, oh boy. What the hell are those teeth behind your teeth? What? Look at his teeth. They're like teeth behind his teeth. Alright. What are you talking look, about? Look in the gray oh, in his mouth. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Maximum. Stay right here, right there, and don't get any of your crusty alien orifices near my decor. I'll go print out our contract, and we can move on. Reimbursement for ink. Reimbursement. Oh, 
<laughs> you pretend you're a statue while he types things, then prints the typed things, then staples the printed things. As Ferret Lissus stares at you with beady interest, you stare back completely motionless. You wonder how often Gorgor has friends over. He brings the packet over to you and hands you a pen. Read this, or don't sign it either way. It's a standard legislator agreement. No, 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 me. Oh, sorry. It's a standard. <laughs> it's a standard legislator agreement. Tweaked a bit to accommodate your particular situation. I got a bit ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. Too excited. Oh. <laughs> no, you agree to submit your text. <laughs> You know you agree to submit your testimony to be judged, and will accept whatever subjugulation you receive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you recognize that any potential winnings are to be remitted to me for processing through a local account before your portion can be dispensed to you. In the event of your culling, I will act as executor of your accounts. Blah blah, same old business, I'm sure it's the same where you're from. There are stars at each place. You are the initial. Oh god, shrunken text expense. That sure was a lot of stuff that you just got told real fast. You were trying to listen, really. But he winked at you early on in his monologue, and it was really distracting. <laughs> because you couldn't stop thinking about if you should incorporate a wink into a secret handshake, maybe. <laughs> anyway, regular legal jargon, yeah. Just like all the times you click to say you read the terms and conditions on any old harmless social media app, that stuff never ends up being relevant. <laughs> you show off your exquisitely polished John Hancock as many times as it takes. Excellent, excellent, everything's in order then. Are you ready to head out? Is this the quirk? I think that is the quirk. It just puts a fucking sign thing at the bottom occasionally. <laughs> oh, like now? Now now? You're not ready. Do you look roughed up enough? Will your bones need to go through any more ordeals? What's a subject later? <laughs> Does Tagora? No sweep like the one you're fucking... <laughs> Wait, no, s no sweep? No year? Like, like troll year? Wait. Go does he mean sweep like actual, like the actual motion of sweeping? No, I think I think he means the time. No sweep like the one you're fucking in, as they say. Oh, no year, it's like a year, like what year you're in, it's 2018. It's <laughs> a swear jar. <laughs> Pardon the line, it's an idiom. Oh, he took, he took 50. He took, 50. Yeah, he took it off. Oh my god, what the fuck, Windows? Ugh. Hang on, one second. Yeah, I see right now. Yeah, yeah. Did the terms and conditions. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we can go new. I already said it. Oh. It means it's time to fucking go. Let's watch the fucking language. <laughs> I'm amused. You follow him out about as apprehensively as you followed him in. As you retrace the path you took not too long ago, it occurs to you to wonder where this glorious feat of justice is going to take place, and like, if anyone is going to subpoena the asshole that hit you. Is that even a thing here? You skip up to match Tagora's pace and ask. There is no real need for you to wa wait, what is he worrying about? I didn't quite, we read it too fast. Like, Go back to the text. Oh my god. Cameron, you nut. <laughs> yeah. So, we, we don't understand how this justice thing is gonna work. What does subpoena mean? Subpoena? Mm -hmm. It means, like, call him into court. Oh, okay. Like, he's not even here. <laughs> There's not even a courtroom. There is no real need for you to worry about that. It's for me to deal with. I saw the perpetrator, of course. If it seems prudent to pin the crime on them, when the time comes, I will have more than enough credible evidence to condemn them. Their blood cast should be sufficient. <laughs> That's good. 
but if it seems worth it to call in their dented scuttle buggy, I can certainly do that as well. Bonus for potential frame job. <laughs> of course, that's not the only way we can spin this. It may not be necessary to involve them at all. <laughs> Don't bother worrying about that either. You definitely... You def <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You definitely still worry about that, but you nod and keep walking like you're not bothered. You want to match his level of easy confidence. It's almost comforting to be around it, now that you've spent some time with him. It's simple. Simple? You're still basking in the ease of being told what to do when simple the whole- Simple for us. He knows we don't know. Mm hmm. You're still basking in the ease of being told what to do when the whole vibe flips over on his ass so fast you feel it like ice down your back. You look at Tagora first. He stopped walking, and his posture somehow gets straighter. Even his cute little ponytail thing looks more alert. <laughs> He's staring at the approach of another troll, a blue guy. You know that means high blood, but not much else about what that entails, aside from what you're picking up from the full hair on end cat reaction from old Gorgor next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna about to get bullied. <laughs> Pleasant evening, sir. His voice gets somehow sweeter and more professional at the same time. Pleasant, pleasant evening, sir. You're stupid. <laughs> you recognize what he's feeling because you felt it yourself the whole time you've been on this godforsaken planet. A deep, all-consuming thirst for approval. He's getting hard for business boy friendship. Highblood, however, is not. At first you think he might be chill because his smile gets huge, and hell if you don't love getting smiled upon. <laughs> 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 you start to introduce yourself until Tagore shoots you a be cool look. <laughs> it's then that you learn that this guy's smile is not the nice kind. <laughs> What's this? He asks. Gorgor picked up a little friend. <laughs> we have a working relationship. You try not to let his dismissal of your friendship sting. You're not there yet. It's okay. <laughs> you want to be helpful, so you put on your best injured face and start hobbling in a circle, twisting your neck at the most grotesque angle you can manage without actually hurting yourself. You groan pitifully about all your bones. <laughs> oh, my bones. <laughs> Ooh, ouch, my bones. <laughs> oh, right. Your booming drone pursuing business. This, uh, client you have here looks extra shitty. Hang on, hang on. Wait, drone pursuing? You geez, you're skipping too fast while I'm trying to study. <laughs> drone pursuing business. What does that mean? Drone pursuing? <laughs> what are you talking about? Drone pursuing? Whatever. <laughs> this client you have looking here looks extra shitty. <laughs> I love the be cool glance. <laughs> good luck getting anything good for whatever this mutant is that you scraped up from the gristle gate. If you take a moment to consider the potential. The blue guy rolls his eyes and keeps walking, elbowing his way right between the two of you on his way past like you're nothing. Or freezes. His eyes stay fixed. He's vibrating. Yeah. <laughs> so I stay fixed ahead of him, where the blue guy was just standing. It's like he wasn't he hasn't processed the movement yet. Even though he got knocked back a few steps in his wake, he starts shaking. Yikes. That was uh tense. You want to say something reassuring to Tagora, but he has kind of ascended into another plane of existence. Hmm. So I guess Tagora's business is not going super great, and he's uh -oh. just taking advantage of us, even though ultimately it's probably not going super great anyway. He's, he's being a hot newt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, wants, he wants to be in with the big boys, Cameron. And he does, just like Joseph. <laughs> just like Joseph! <laughs> <laughs> With all his expensive crap. <laughs> baby. Oh, the poor baby. You know Baby. I love him. Except he's a lawyer. And Joseph is a tax person. <laughs> Maybe a nice reassuring pat on the shoulder will help diffuse the mood. <laughs> you put a ginger hand in the mere vicinity of his body and he whirls to face you, eyes narrowed and breathing heavy. You snatch your hand back fast. 
Mistake. Oh. You. Ooh. Fifty. Good face. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Do you, have... <laughs> Do you have any idea how rare that networking opportunity was? It's blaming it on us. Do you realize what you? <laughs> Damages for slide down antisocial letters. You're just a weird little hornless thing who doesn't even know how to cross the fucking street. Return of Swear Jar. <laughs> he starts laughing all high pitched and weird. Up until now, he seems. <laughs> oh my god. Cameron. They say it's the middle of the night, it can't be too loud. Stupid. Up until now, he seems so slick, so unflappable, that Gorgor is hard to reconcile with the one pacing back and forth, hollering and grabbing at his face. He's pretty goddamn flapped. <laughs> oh mm. boy, you really screwed up, huh? Maybe your busted neck routine is not convincing enough, or too convincing? Either way, you figure now might be the time to bow out before this scene really blows up. You tell him so. Your neck is fine, look. You headbang a bit to prove it. No, no, a deal is a deal. We're at Wait, the point. a deal is a deal is a deal. And we're at the point in the thing. No. At 11,040. No, no, a deal is a deal is a deal. 100 this time. He breathes in slowly through his nose. Alright, Gorgor. Remember your mantra. He closes his eyes. After an awkward minute of watching him whisper something unintelligible to himself, he opens them and immediately starts up that bonkers pace again. So you skedaddle to catch up. He keeps t talking, but by now he's just talking to himself. With you as an eavesdropping barnacle with really slow legs. <laughs> Little manic giggles bubble out in between his sentences. <laughs> We're heading towards this, it's alright. <laughs> Are you gonna kill us? <laughs> Keep walking. I'm seeing this through. Mm, those legal fees, it's though. The line, <laughs> okay, not bad. Maybe things are still cool between you. Maybe this lawyer client relationship still has a chance to blossom into something more. You venture a friendly type topic and ask him about his mantra. He stops walking and looks at you like you shat on his Lysus' grave. <laughs> you don't just ask someone what their mantra is. Mm hmm. Mantra request forfeiture. <laughs> Maybe not so cool. He shivers, spooked, and turns his stinky stare from you to the path you're on. After a moment, he smooths back all the hairs he shook out of place during his freakout, pivots, and turns down a side street. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, as I was about to say, there were there are many ways to fulfill the terms of our contract. It's gonna pull a gun on us. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I was hoping this would lead to a more stimulating evening. I was prepared to get into it with you. For you. But it has become clear that this partnership is no longer worth the work. Especially now that I will have to consider the significant career setback I just experienced at your feckless hand. So instead of wasting any more of my time or yours, let's take a shortcut to the same end result, sparing us both the agony of enduring a long court battle in the proximity of one another. You gonna call us? Do it. Here's your verdict. You're guilty. Guilty verdict and harassment. <laughs> guilty! Wait, was it supposed to be the other guys on trial? You look around, panic rising in your chest. Oh, don't tell me. You don't know how the legal system works either. Unsurprising and uninteresting. Oh my god. Oh, this is bad. You'd been so caught up in watching him talk that you didn't notice him guiding you straight into the shittier part of town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is the ghetto. Yeah. You know, the part that's all half-demolished hives and creepy noises and drones flying around. Drones like the one that turns to notice you when Tagora whistles, snaps his fingers, and points right at your head. Mm-hmm. Mm. Something about drone business, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Drone, drone chasing. Whatever. Hey, big guy! <laughs> Over here! Tagora's head gets blasted off. <laughs> I hope we get a 
nice graphic gory image. One extremely malformed and unviable troll. Just the way you like it. You shouldn't feel surprised at this betrayal, maybe, but you do. For a second, anyway. Then you focus on yelling and scanning for possible debris to hide under. Tegoris starts backing away as the drone gets closer. There's a sewer in the next street over. Oh my god. You probably won't make it. But if you do, check your pocket. Do you specified for bed end? <laughs> you gave us a bill. <laughs> <laughs> Mm hmm. It's good. Alright, well, we well, died. Well, well, yep. Well, no, we don't die, we're immortal. I know, continue. We run away. Alright, well, that was the bad end. Ooh. Maybe we'll get our own dues for the good end. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do we, it. We went, we went over his heart. That he tells us about how shitty his business is. Let's take a goddamn bath. Now he wants to be with the high bloods just like Joseph. <laughs> what a dumb. <laughs> you are more than a little concerned about the trap part of the instructions you just received. But hey, at least the trap you know about is better than one you don't. And with everything else you can see, so freaky pristine, he has to be hiding some evil somewhere. You wonder if it's a dungeon. A dungeon would be could be cool. <laughs> what? Uh, oh. <laughs> The ferret bounds down off its pedestal and jerks its head for you to follow it. You do, because it seems like a regular thing to do, and Tagore is busy on his computer. What? Look at this fancy ass room. Look, it's, it's like a whole wall of conditioner. <laughs> and this is just the wallpaper. <laughs> In which case, it's double stupid. <laughs> It leads you to a bathroom, which is just as fancy and clean as everything else you've seen. Oh my god, it's like Joseph. <laughs> Alessa chitters at you for a second, squirms its big noodle body around and leaves, shutting the door behind it. You wait a second until it's probably gone before you test the handle. It's unlocked. Huh. You wonder what the point or, you know, motive might be for leading you to this room until you turn and see yourself in the mirror. That is some haggard looking stuff right there, so... Fair. You're flying by the seat of your pants, but you guess maybe you're supposed to take a bath. If not, and he gets pissed and leeches the ferret on you, at least he'll meet your maker nice and clean. <laughs> you have to expect some indiscernible goo or blood or something to come out of the faucet in the weird lumpy tub, but thankfully it's just water. <laughs> Information! Doot doot doot, get your research on. I already assumed it was water, why would it be goo? I don't know. Why would it be slime? Because they have toilet slime. Yes, but if they get out of their fucking slime thing, the slime recouper coon, and then they go take a shower, why would they shower in more slime? I don't know. Why would you take a shit in more slime? Well, because it's a shit, it's going <laughs> into the toilet. <laughs> so you're stupid. You don't bathe in the toilet. <laughs> well, you're still shitting in valuable, soporific goo. <laughs> How do you even know it's so horrific? It could just be weird slime. Just regular slime that's colored the same as your bed slime. No, it's actually water and it's just radiate, radi radiated. It's very, water. very green. Yeah. Filthy. <laughs> Once you're in, you take a look at the truly inordinate amount of bath products There's you no have. There's no such thing as flushing. It's become green with radiation from your shits. You're dumb. The truly inordinate amount of bath products you have at your fingertips. Good thing Tagora's not here, otherwise he'd be charging us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There are three shelves. I'm sure he'll charge it just fine anyway. We'll find a reason. There are three shelves of little bottles, and so, okay, so these are things. Unless he's talking about these shelves. There are three shelves of little bottles and soaps and unidentifiable lather some accessories by the tub alone. Oh, I see, okay. There's even more by the mirror. The labels are all gibberish, of course, but you sniff a few until you find something flowery and go to town. You take more time than you should in there, but you haven't experienced a moment of luxurious solitude in a bit. Full-time friendship searching can be difficult work. It's good to recharge. Once you're freshly scrubbed and dried, you left slather yourself head to toe with some lotion you find in an iridescent vial. Uh-oh. Just like his hair gel. <laughs> 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 
you know, he won't mind you using it. He wants you to be presentable, and this stuff is sparkly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's starting to feel rejuvenated as hell. Ready to knock this friendship stuff right out of the park. You leave your dirty, torn up old clothes on the floor, wrap yourself in one of the many satin bathrobes folded on the shelf, and head back out to find Tagora. Oh boy. He's standing in his foyer, <laughs> waiting with the contract he typed up for you. When he sees you, his eyebrow ticks up. I see you went with the rainbow drinker serum. Full body application. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what a nut. Oh, choice. Rainbow drinker serum. Mm hmm. I mean, it's an incredibly rare and expensive product, and I do expect to be remunerated. But I won't lie, it works. 15,000 crush fresh handmade troll cosmetics. <laughs> yeah, sure, that stuff. You don't want to let on that you don't know what it is, since we seem to go Cameron, away with you. You, you newt, you newt, you ruined it. Yeah, sure, that stuff. You don't want to let let on that you don't know what it is, since he seems impressed. Instead, you give his ego a little stroke and tell him you hadn't seen such a sumptuous array of self-care accoutrements in so long that you couldn't help yourself. Not everyone takes skincare as seriously as they should. I assumed you were taking forever in there because you'd gotten lost or didn't know how to use the illusion trap. I hadn't considered the possibility that you were just doing your regimen noted. Wait, regimen noted. Haha, <laughs> we're cultured. <laughs> Rebate for impeccable skincare. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He, he takes away all the money because he starts to like us. Yeah. You hold your arms out to admire the well-hydrated sheen you have going on. This time, you're not really even bullshitting. It does- it just does actually look pretty good. Tagora seems like he's struggling. He keeps opening his mouth to say something, then changing his mind. He's clutching the documents in his hands like a flotation device. He looks down at them, then back at you. Oh, you're gonna change your mind about screwing us over? <laughs> I typically only use that particular product to highlight my cheap plays, but there's no real reason you shouldn't apply it more liberally, especially if cost isn't an issue. Mm -hmm. It's a little drastic for my personal style, but there is a certain unorthodox glamour to it. Glamour. Oh yeah. Glamour. That makes That's interesting. Good. He uses the British spelling. What a nut. Joseph doesn't. The next bit looks like it hurts him a bit to get out. Do you... Would you like to step outside to see the full effect? Are we gonna glow? Are gonna we gonna sparkle? sparkle? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You bet your ass you would. You're curious about what he means by effect. And this seems like more fun than signing stuff. Ooh, he's actually enjoying his time with us. Mm -hmm. It's more than business. He places the documents down on his desk like they're made of glass, not paper. He looks up at his lessus, who just sort of tilts its head to the side. You look away and give them privacy to do whatever eyeball communication is going on. After a bit, Tagora clears his throat and heads toward the door. You don't comment on the bluish flesh in his cheeks. Oh. Mm. Where all the shift in his demeanor, he still seems like he might kick you out on your ass if you tried to get too feelingsy with him. Mm. What? <laughs> we start to glow as soon as you step out into this dark front yard. Not in a light bulb kind of way, but a subtle ethereal luminescence. What is this stuff? <laughs> I mean, there's still the unfortunate issue of your hornlessness and overall aberrance. Aberrance? Is that how you pronounce it? Aberrance. Aberrance. What does it mean? Aberrance. It means... It's like, um... Uh... Shit. <laughs> I thought maybe it was abhorrence for a second, but no. it's abs, which I don't know what that is. It's, um, it's like a mistake. Okay. It's like a, like a mutation. Okay. And the fact that you're still wearing my evolution robe. Evolution robe ruined filthy. But it's cutting edge. I'll give you that. <laughs> you look almost like a real one. You don't know what that means, but you want to roll around eternally in the praise part. You ask if the look will help your case. 
Your, oh, right. Your case, of course. Almost forgot. <laughs> Bites his lip and looks back through the window at the papers sitting on the desk where he left them. He hope he still wants to represent you, or at least that he'd want to hang out even if he wasn't going to. You don't get the chance to prod though, because right then someone rounds the corner on the sidewalk in front of his hive. Oh! Oh my god. Is it time? Is it baby time? <laughs> Tagora's face immediately shudders onto its usual simpering mask. There's an edge of panic around his eye though. Huh. Oh boy. Wow, Gorgic, what have we here? <laughs> it's a blue-themed troll, which, if you remember right, means he's a fancier guy than Tagora. <laughs> <laughs> he's grinning like Troll Christmas came early. You can feel Tagora vibrating out of his skin next to you. Who even is this guy? <laughs> when he gets close enough to get a good look at you, he jumps and screeches. <laughs> what the bulge boiling fuck? <laughs> Oh, Sagora, you darn duddled fucked up now. There's no good ends. They're all bad ends. <laughs> They're all bad ends. Tagora is frozen, the corner of his mouth pulled back to show his teeth. The new guy is ignoring him in the favor of noticing that you're dressed in Tagora's monogrammed leisure wear, and <laughs> his look of fascinated horror is anything to go by. <laughs> you don't really know what makes you do it. You should wait for Tagora to get himself together and do the talking, but you're riding the high of him almost seeming like he was enjoying your company. Plus, nothing boosts confidence like looking like a beautiful spooky angel. So you toss your head, put on your best fancy guy voice, and say, What? Never seen a real one before. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Master of you bullshit. Fool. Master of bullshit. Oh, <laughs> You're placing all your chips on this guy knowing something you don't. <laughs> when his eyes get huge and he starts stumbling over himself to back away down the sidewalk, you know it's paid off. <laughs> Tagora blinks and jumps right in, picking up directly where you left off. Surely <laughs> someone as well informed as yourself knows a rainbow drinker when he sees one. <laughs> Blue guy doesn't respond with anything more coherent than a string of yelps as he hightails it back the way he came. A fucking- wait, you're scared of the rainbow drinker? Well, I guess there is a yeah. lot of romanticized literature about them. Yeah, and how scary and dangerous they are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when he's gone, you turn to Tagora and ask him super casually what a rainbow drinker is. He stares at you in stunned silence. Are you? <laughs> you telling me you didn't know? You nod. <laughs> and then you ran with it anyway, exploiting the fear you picked up on to turn the tide of a delicate encounter to your favor. You shrug. Yes, so. Ooh. You tell You're to suave like him. <laughs> you tell Tagore. You hope his friend wasn't too freaked out. Friend, no, I hate that guy. When being liked by your betters is helpful. Though technically, fearing me is just as good. Better, maybe. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Um, I'm gonna say thank you. Yeah? Thank you. Nagora's left is soft. It's not a sound you expected to hear. He's happy because of something you did. You can't help it, you start laughing too. <laughs> that was a bit of a rush, wasn't it? <laughs> it was almost fun. He certainly didn't see it coming. Anyway, I, under I underestimated you. He gives you an appraising look and takes a deep breath. You're so nervous all of a sudden, you feel unbalanced on the precipice of what he might be about to say. From one prevaricator. Pre pre prevaricator. Prevaricator, what does that mean? I have no fucking clue. Okay. I wonder if it's a made up word or not. Mm. I will let you in on, one, on something. I haven't actually encountered an alien before. Got him. Surcharge for truth reveal. <laughs> oh, sweet relief. You tell him his act was alright. It was airtight. <laughs> 
And as long as everyone's doing the truth thing, you admit you lied a bit too, you aren't actually rich. Yes, that's clear now. You have the invaluable ability to fake it though. That's potential, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we put your case on hold for the time being? You wouldn't have enjoyed the outcome of our legal system anyway. Preemptive interest on held suit. <laughs> we can find an ultra alternate means of you working off your desk. Oh boy. I think we may make a better team than I previously anticipated. With our wits combined, we can tackle bigger and better things than traffic injuries. Mm -hmm. He flexes his hand at his side, then in one swift and decisive movement, he extends it out to you. On his face is something close to an honest-to-god, real-ass smile. I've never actually formed a legitimate partnership of any sort before, but I believe this is how it's done. What did you say? Ha! Five percent friendship discount. <laughs> the glow in your heart shines brighter than any expensive and still kind of mysterious lotion. You take his hand in your firm, no-nonsense grasp of pure inexorable joy and shake it. Jeez, that was loud. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Look at our glowy glow. <laughs> baby, baby glow. Friendship. Yay! That was fun. I like that a lot. Just sign on the dotted line. Mm. Yay! Yay! I love it. We did it. That was fun. We did it. That was fun. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Yay! I love Tagore so much. Look his, at him. His hair like weirdly Which clips man? over his face right here, makes it look like a soul patch. Stupid. <laughs> you see it too, don't you? Yes, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Alright. Well, that was fun. Thank you yeah. for that. It was a lot of fun. I love that so much. That was a great, great arc. That Good was. Quality. Tabor is such a great character. Quality. It reminds me of Joseph, but sleazier. Yeah. Well, mm. Joseph used to be sleazy, you should know. Maximum sleaze. He became less sleazy and more insane with time. Mm. As you do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. How exciting. That was fun. What a cool and fun story. What a cool, fun story that we just experienced. Now, now we go to the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to pay your dues. Mm hmm. That's right. All right. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Best friend. It's a good friend right there. We got a good friend. It's a quality friend. <laughs> it's the type of friend who, like, lends you five dollars and expects twenty. <laughs> right. There you go. More like expects five hundred. Five hundred by next week. Mm-hmm. Alright. Bye, goodbye. Bye! Hurry up. <laughs>